Hey, what's up guys? We still got that low light situation going on. Uh, but, guess what time it is. That's right. It's time to open up. I'm guessing another Sega Genesis game. Oh, and I have a package over there. Hold on a minute. Y'all wanna open up some packages? I know I do. So if you don't mind guys, I went ahead and I took this out of the package it came in and now we're gonna we're gonna take it out of a box. Basically it's boxes within boxes, okay? So uh, we're fixing to open this shit up. So before we get started with this video, just like to let you know, I cut myself shaving. Yeah, I think I, I think I nicked my face just a little bit. And uh, apparently, uh, I'm still getting pimples like I'm a teenager. Right there. Okay, so I just wanted to get that out of the way in case you can see it. You probably never would have noticed it until I stuck my face in the screen. Okay, so yeah, nicked myself shaving and I have... A pimple just appeared out of nowhere overnight. So, yeah. Uh, but, before we open up some Sega Genesis games, because let's be honest, it's going to be a Sega game uh, until I get a Super Nintendo. Uh, but that's what's nice about having Nintendo products like a Wii, Wii U, Nintendo Switch. Not so much on the Nintendo Switch yet, but it's coming. Well, you know, at least we get to download things. So, that's good. I'll go ahead and open this because I know what these are. I just want to look at them. You get three of these, you get them off of Amazon. Last time I ordered three, one of them came in damaged where the plastic came off here. A little cheap in that regard. Uh, and if you're going to put the book in these, you need to put the book in backwards. Uh, so where you would normally put the book like this and you have the spine right here, it's better to flip it around and put it in this way because there's this little piece that holds the book and it just sets in there a lot better. So if you're going to get these black cheap replacement cases, uh, go ahead. They're not too bad, okay, for what you pay for them. I did order some clear cases. Uh, they're really nice. You can slip the artwork in them. Obviously, they don't have these little lips like this. They're more of like a rental type case, uh, but they fit the EA games and the 32X games. So I ordered some of those uh, and haven't got them because of Hurricane Steve Harvey, okay? So unfortunately, I didn't get my clear plastic cases uh but i guess they're coming i keep getting uh amazon delay amazon delay but they're still coming okay i understand people are fucking swimming down i-45 i get it okay the cases are gonna be late i'm okay with that but i had just ordered a game and i got two day prime i just ordered a, a little golf game for my sega cost me like eight bucks uh and it's gonna take me like two weeks to get it I mean, everything is screwed up out here, though. We ate at Burger King the other night, and then they're telling us we're at a number 11, at a number this, at a number that. We're like, yeah, we get it. Okay. I said, I just want two small Whopper Juniors. Is that, can we get Whopper Juniors? Yeah, we got it. Okay. Next night, they're closed. All right. Uh, we go to Whataburger. I'm like, oh, cool. They're open. And we get out of the car. We go, nope, they're closed. They're only open in the drive through And then, you know, places are closing down early that are usually 24 hours. So I got to check my gym. So it's just a, uh, it's, it's, it's really devastated uh, this area and, and 
It's just craziness, okay? And speaking of craziness, uh, I like to be upfront with my subscribers in regards to stuff that goes on in, in my life. So, uh, for instance, I entertain people, right? And unfortunately, the people in the gaming communities couldn't figure out what I was doing, and they simplified it by saying, I'm just talking shit, okay? And I'm talking shit about other YouTubers, which clearly wasn't what I was doing, okay? But... Through that, you find an audience. They go, hey, I like this guy. I like the way this guy thinks. He gets it, da-da-da-da-da. And, well, it's, it's uh, social media, and it's online. You don't know who necessarily uh, the people are that you acquire, the fan base, right? And you have people that are trolls, you know, and stuff like that. And you just block them, and you move on. And uh, it's nice not doing uh, gaming shit, anything gaming. Not that I was ever doing gaming stuff, but because I was in that community uh, talking about the hypocrisy of YouTubers that regurgitate other people's work, a.k.a. video game articles, then to make a living off of YouTube, and then that's solely what, solely what they do, uh, you know, somehow I couldn't, I couldn't discuss what I saw uh, without a, a certain level of people, I guess, that don't have everything upstairs getting upset with shit. And, and, and people couldn't understand theatrics, and I'm putting on a show, and it, it just got ridiculous, okay? So anyway, with that said, uh, and maybe when you act crazy, you draw in crazy, right? Uh, and I have. And so I wanted to explain that with some of my subscribers. So all of a sudden, and, and clearly they want attention, so I probably shouldn't do this video, but they're going to get some attention, okay? Uh, probably not the attention that they thought they were going to get, but they're going to get some attention. So when you have a subscriber, okay, that harasses your other subscribers that are Muslim, uh, and... You talk to that subscriber and say, hey, you got to leave the guy alone, okay? Just just leave the guy alone. If you have issues with Muslims, that's your issue, and you need to take that someplace else because that's not going to go on in my comment section, just like you have issues with somebody because they're purple. It's not going to go on in my fucking comment section. I'm just not going to put up with it. And I have no problem blocking people that seem to not be able to understand me or can't stand me because it's as simple as turning the fucking channel. It's as simple as turning me the fuck off, okay? Uh, uh, it reminds me of preachers back in the, in the late 80s, early 90s that were bitching about radio, you know, uh, that were bitching about video games, uh, Hillary Clinton was one of those people. Uh, I think Joseph Lieberman was the other guy bitching about fucking video games. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but they were bitching about video games. Mortal Kombat. We got the whole rating thing and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, shut up. Okay? Just like people bitching about shit on the radio. Shut up. People bitching about social media. You don't have to be on fucking social media. There's a cartoon that went out uh, in regards to Hurricane Harvey that he thought was insensitive because it was uh, a redneck and his house was halfway underwater. And uh, it said secede from Texas, secede from the, gov you know, the United States because I hear that a lot. I was just joking about that. And then the... He, he's, He's like, oh, angels have come for me. And it's a, it's a Coast Guard helicopter. And they're like, no, this is your government. You know, and, and some people thought that was in poor taste because of the time it came out. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a whole video on that because uh, I don't think it was in poor taste. And I enjoyed it. And I sent it to all my friends. And actually, all my friends enjoyed it. And we're from all different uh, political and religious faiths, Okay with that said, and we all enjoyed that cartoon because everybody I sent it to actually lives in Texas. So we got it. Okay. But anyway, with that said, speaking of crazies, uh, how pathetic do you have to be that you fucking stalk someone online? That seems pretty fucking pathetic to me. And then 
when you stalk that person online, you're stalking them because I'm not racist. Someone has decided to go to great lengths because I made Donald Trump videos, I said something negative in regards to the KKK and white nationalists, and who were the other idiots? Oh, Nazis, okay? And so that person that's been subscribed for me for a long time, and this is the problem with kind of changing up your format. Even though I have done videos about Donald Trump before and in the past, and even though I don't have any issues with people that are Muslim, I don't have any issues with, with people of any faith or any color. I think we all should be equal. In the eyes of everybody, we're all, as far as I'm concerned, we're all fucking equal, okay? I don't have a special hang-up for you because you're a different color or because of whatever your fucking religious religion is. That's, I don't give a shit, okay? Uh, but, with that said, somebody loses their fucking mind, and we're still, don't worry, we're still gonna get, we're gonna open this. Uh, I just want to. I just want to talk to my subscribers so they know what's going on. Uh, somebody loses their fucking mind, and because I'm not a racist dick, and apparently they are. You know, when I had like a thousand people after I made my Charlottesville video, and I made multiple Charlottesville videos, where people just unsubscribed. How fucking sad were these people that they were on my channel and they just didn't want to hear me say anything negative in regards to a statue and fucking racists with fire that fucking marched around it that they unsubbed? And how fucking sad are they that they then felt the need to talk about some group on the fucking left that I didn't give a shit about because clearly I was making my videos to joke about fucking Nazis. Because to me, it's crazy in 2017, we would have people march with fucking fire to be fucking racist shits. Okay? Unsub! I don't want you fucking here if you're that ignorant. But this guy didn't unsub. But what he decided to do was type stupid bullshit in the comment section that I just got tired of. You know, I dealt with him. I didn't block him when he was screwing with my Muslim subscriber. And I had to have a conversation that I shouldn't have had to have in my fucking comment section and go, hey, chill the fuck out. And then this guy went after my subscriber because he was fucking Muslim and he just carried shit way too fucking far. And it just got ridiculous to where two other people had to get involved. And it's like, who needs that fucking nonsense when all I'm trying to do is make people fucking laugh. Or make people open their eyes in regards to the gaming community and regurgitation and people's hypocrisy. Or just open up a goddamn Sega Genesis game. Or put together a fucking joystick or tear apart a fucking Sega Genesis this is the kind of stupid shit that you have to deal with when you're online and some fucking nut is enamored with you for whatever reason and all of their marbles aren't fucking rattling around upstairs. Their little hamster doesn't go all the way around on the wheel. They're missing a couple of fucking steps. The elevator isn't fucking working, okay? So then, because I'm not a racist, okay... They then decide they want to basically stalk me in a way. And this person hates the media, okay? But yet they're acting just like fucking CNN, okay? So some fucking basement dweller has a crush on me like a fucking 16-year-old schoolgirl. And this is a dude, okay? Some loser from the fucking video game community. Not to paint everybody in the video game community as losers, but that's what I got fucking tired of. Because I was trying to entertain adults that were like-minded, and you get these 
young people or you get these kids that couldn't figure out fucking sarcasm and they had a heart on for their favorite fucking YouTuber and that YouTuber could do no wrong and then that YouTuber would make fucking videos about you, okay? And then said, oh, he didn't want you to get flagged but then meanwhile fucking links your channel videos and sends fucking trash to your fucking channel. And this was one of those people. But then they were enamored with me because they didn't like that YouTuber to begin with. So they plant their self on the channel. And they're entertained. And that's fantastic. But then all of a sudden, hey, I don't like Donald Trump and I'm not fucking a racist. And they lose their fucking mind because I said something negative in regards to fucking Nazis. And the person is such a fucking loser that he uses Hitler as his fucking meme that he uses swastika symbols, symbols. And so I'm just like, I don't need this person in my comment section. I don't want to be associated with that, okay? If my friend came over here and decided to goose step and wear Nazi symbols and look like fucking Hitler, I'd be like, ah, hey man, we're not going to hang out today, okay? You're going to have to go. Thanks. So, yeah, you got some online vigilante that still lives in his mother's fucking basement. And what are they doing? Uh, they're trying to put out my personal information. And they try to put out personal information on me during Hurricane Harvey, okay? Hello? Hello, McFly. Hello. So you put out some personal information on me during Hurricane Harvey. What do you think? They're going to fucking swim over here? Are they going to jump in a boat and come over to my apartment? Like how batshit fucking crazy do you have to be where during a natural disaster... You're like, you know what, I'm going to try to put out his personal information, even though he's already going through a whole bunch of shit right now I can, can't even possibly fucking imagine, and I want some sort of harm's way to come to this guy. And then, I'm going to repost his videos where he happens to be talking about work, and he happens to be talking about some management, even though I didn't name anybody. And he seems to be a little negative in the situation that occurred, and I'm going to post that because, well, maybe I can get him fired, too. Like, what kind of a fucking loser does that shit? I guess the same kind of loser that idolizes fucking Hitler. So, uh, yeah. So there's that, okay? So then I gotta figure out, do I want to continue to waste time entertaining other people? When you get fucking batshit crazy people like this on the goddamn internet? And the, and the screwed up thing is, this person accuses people of being a white knight for me, but then calls themselves a fucking crusader over video game YouTubers. Like, seriously? Just think about that for a fucking minute. You're calling this guy a white knight and calling yourself a crusader over fucking video games. Loser. Loser. And that's coming from the guy with toys on the wall. Then the guy sets up a fake Twitter account pretending to be me. And I'm pretty sure multiple people have done this, uh, but this guy has definitely done it. Now let's think about how fucking sad is your life when you pretend to be this guy. That's pretty fucking sad. Let's, let's look around for a minute.
Let's let that sink in. You're pretending to be a guy on YouTube. Out of all the YouTubers out there, you're pretending to be the guy that only has 20,000 subscribers, likes to run subs off a lot, okay, uh, that lives in a rat hole. Uh, there's enough pinholes in the fucking wall. You can see the rats just run right fucking through, you know, just name the little fuckers. Okay, so I live in a rat hole surrounded by plastic fucking playthings. Uh, you have hit rock fucking bottom when you're pretending to be me. Let's be honest. I got a fucking shit job, a fucking cat, and a hideous fucking girlfriend, and you're pretending to be this guy. Trying to figure out how that makes any fucking sense. And then, get this, he's having conversations with himself on Twitter because he has multiple accounts. And he's being me, calling himself a loser, and having full-blown fucking conversations. And he does it on YouTube, too, with other YouTube accounts. Boys and girls, can we say batshit crazy? Wow. And then he actively is looking up my YouTube audience. So that's why we're having this discussion with my YouTube audience. Because obviously I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. Guys, I don't have Twitter, okay? I'm not a YouTuber that regurgitates video game articles and I don't need a circle jerk of 16-year-old boys to tell me I'm right all the time, okay? There's just no need for Twitter. If you're a grown man, you do not need fucking Twitter. You just don't. So I don't have it. I have this to try to entertain people, to share video games I'm unboxing with my friends, okay? And hell, come to find out, a couple of people like my attitude. They like my personality. So that's why I keep my YouTube channel. So, with that said, the words keep coming to my mind, and they sound like this. Lou Zaher, okay? Seriously. Loser. But I guess I should feel flattered. I mean, you got a guy that wants to be me. Me. The dude with toys on the wall and a Ninja Turtle shirt. And a fucking pimple on his face and a huge fucking nose, okay? And might I add, a very stylish goatee, okay? So you got some loser on the internet wanting to be this loser on the internet. Do we need pieces of paper and numbers? I don't know how this works, okay? So loser on the internet wants to be this loser on the internet and then looks up to another loser that lost... World War II, you fucking loser. So, yeah, uh, that's interesting. Uh, yet he can't grasp that I don't like Donald Trump because I'm not a blind patriotic sheep that wants to get raped inside out by my country and I don't like raping my country uh, for the oil industry and uh, blowing up my neighbors while calling myself a patriotic Christian, well, because that sounds a lot like fucking Hitler, okay? So with that said, hey, let's open up a package. What do we got here, boys and girls? Man, that's in a nice case, too. Look at that. Oh, is, that's the original case. Is that not the original case? Somebody let me know if that's not the original case. I'm thinking that it is because, look, it doesn't have a square uh, hang, hanging tab. It has this, which, which is shaped like the game. Man, that is like brand spanking fucking new. That is like brand new. Brand new. Only cost me $15. What do you think? Is that a deal? Brand new artwork? Brand new case? Original case? Pete Sampras Tennis.
by Codemasters, no less. Codemasters Micro Machines. Come on, guys. Which, yes, I don't have yet. I'm sorry. And it's a four-player game. Mind you, you don't have to buy a four-player adapter. Don't know if the four-player adapter would work with it. Has anybody tried the four-player ad four player adapter with this game? Even though, get this. That's another reason I bought it. Player 3 and Player 4 plugs right into the fucking cartridge. How cool is that? So, of course, I had to buy it just, just for the, the technology piece, just for this. Maybe I'll even open it up and, and look in there. Oh, I can't. They don't have screws. That's odd. Look, no screws. Codemasters. Their own strange little cartridge. Look at that. In and out, right? Look at that. How cool is that? Looks clean. I'll clean it, though. That's cool. That's a cool cartridge. Is that not a cool cartridge? Come on, look at that. That's a cool cartridge. That's cool. Case is like brand spanking new. The book is like brand spanking new. Look at that. Look at that. Type in top 10 sports games for Sega Genesis. Obviously, Madden's going to come up either 92 or 93. I think it's 93. Uh, and, of course, uh, drawing a blank. NHL Hockey 94. And this actually comes up. Uh, and then they have little runners up and stuff like that. Speaking of micro machines, check that out. And people actually like this game. Everybody that's played this game, look at that, still has the warranty card in there. Codemasters warranty card right there. How cool. That wasn't pulled out. Book is like brand new it smells brand new that's crazy that is so cool that is so cool that is so cool guys and it was cheap and what are the chances of that? Look at that. It's in the original Codemasters box. Obviously, I was right because it's a special cartridge. Look. There's the special cartridge case. So it's good they took care of this. It says Codemasters on the case. And then you've got their little logo, I guess. How cool is that? That's super, super freaking cool. So... So I just want to apologize to any of my subscribers that are watching my channel and have left me messages and have been harassed by some loser in the gaming community. I, I apologize, even though it's not my fault. Uh, I'm sorry that you have to go through that. And I know one of my subscribers had to go through that just recently. I, I know three of my subscribers have had to go through that just being associated with me. Uh, so, unfortunately, that's part of the reality of, uh, people on the other side of the screen that rub their self down in peanut butter and jerk off in their grandma's panties. And with that said, guys, I gotta go.